Welcome everyone. Today I'd just like to share a very interesting article on the property market and the changing demographics. Uh, now this article was written by Michael Yardney, probably one of the largest buyers agencies in Australia, very experienced and uh, been forecasting successfully on property markets for many years uh, all around Australia. So I think it's a, a really good source of information, very trustworthy. So talking about the changing uh, population and demographics in Australia, which is really relevant to those considering investing in real estate over the next few years and, and some of the facts and figures based around that. So in this article, he's talking what's going to happen in Australia over the next 10 years. And uh, Simon Kuchmaster has highlighted a real change in the forecasting of the market. The forecasting over the next 10 years, Australia's population is going to grow on average by about 370,000 per year. In fact, last year, the forecast was 400,000 and we had just over 600,000 new immigrants into Australia. 10 years, that's 3.7 million people coming into Australia, and that's certainly going to have an effect on the property market. More than most people would be aware of, we all know that we're in a very tight rental market, we're in a tight property market, short of, of accommodation, based on this forecasting figures, which gives us a bit of a guide over the next 10 years, uh, we really should be aware of what's happening in the market. And this is going to affect rents as well as property prices, I believe. Uh, one of the biggest changes is in the type of demographic that's coming into Australia. And one of the key is where we're going to see this immigration growth is in the immigrants coming in or migrants coming in in the 18 to 39 year age bracket. And what's interesting is the young adult population between 18 and 25 is forecast to grow by 16%. There's a number of reasons for that. So we're getting a lot of students, international students coming into Australia for their, for their careers education, and that's going to have a massive effect on the short-term accommodation. The next age group, the 25 to 34-year-old age group, is forecast to grow by about 11% over the next 10 years. So these are predominantly uh, people renting, are quite ready to start their families and settle down. Uh, this is going to create a demand for single uh, room accommodation and going to put a put pressure on the property market in general. This is going to drive rental prices. So this younger generation population group that's going to come into Australia, they're going to be looking for accommodation in certain uh, city centres close to infrastructure, jobs, education, university schools, etc. So that the, where the population immigrants coming into is going to be really relevant if we're looking at uh, maximising the potential of this. Well, we can see this article here. The number of uh, portion of single unit households has changed from 20% in 1991 to 26% in 2021. So now about one in four people live on their own. So there's going to create a real demand for this single level or room person accommodation. Hence, there's been a lot of research and uh, information in regards to the type of accommodation we should be building going into the future. Great news for property investors looking to maximise their rental returns. We've actually got a great product that really caters for this single person accommodation. Uh, so this is known as co-living. And on the screen there, you'll see a bit of an indication of how the property would look. So looking for the street view, so look, it looks like a standard traditional home, which it essentially is. Now there's a few modifications made to the internal layout of the home to really maximise this, this single room accommodation. So if you notice, looking at the floor plan, bedroom one, two, and three, traditional master bedroom with walk-in wardrobe and ensuite. So it could suit a family home. But more importantly, in the short term, while we own that property, we can really increase our rental income by about 35% by catering for this single person accommodation. So you'll see bedroom one, two, and three. We make a few modifications. Some of the major ones are uh, digital locks on all the doors to give each person the security privacy at each Bedroom has its own ensuite bathroom, so very uh, accommodating there, secure. And also we make the bedrooms a bit larger, ceiling heights a bit higher. Uh, we furnish the room, the home, we put air conditioners in each bedroom. So it gives a single person a great level of accommodation. So we're seeing that younger demographic change, but also seeing a lot of uh, people in that older age group changing from married couples to single people as our demographics change. And these people really need affordable accommodation. So this uh, this type of property really suits those as well. As I mentioned, a home like this would rent in the, as a three or four bedroom house to a family would probably be about $650 to $700 per week. Uh, as a co-living property, this is going to rent for about $900 a week minimum. So really 
improves our cash flow by the time that we hold that investment property. And when we come to sell our portfolio at retirement, we've got two extra strategies. So we can sell this four bedroom home to a traditional family, those extra bathrooms, or we could sell it to an investor looking for the higher the return. So I really believe this is going to maximize your holding income while you're owning the property. And at the time of resale, it's going to be a real point of difference when you're selling in to other properties that are being sold. This property will have a real point of difference. So I hope that's really helped and made everyone aware of the changing demographics. Great news for those that are owning real estate right now that the future looks very bright in Australia over the long term with this immigration coming in. Of course, we can't control that set by the government. Uh, but what we can control is how we're going to maximise the potential from that. So if you like the concept and want a lot, would like to know more, uh, please reach out. Have a great day.